viewers, this is the Home Economic Show where we create the standard. Today we have the privilege to be with the central president of the Ghana Home Economics Association. So she's going to talk to us about gear and then what she has been doing over the past couple of years. Madam, welcome. Thank you. Please, you would like, our viewers and I would like to know who you are. Mm -hmm. um, Madam Sarah Baudum, the headmistress of Bebna Sikuma Senior High School. I'm also the ch Central Regional Chairperson for Ghana Home Economics Association. Wow, so we are talking to the headmistress of the Bremen Esikuma Secondary School and also the Ch Central Regional Chairperson for the Ghana Home Economics Association. So, Madam, please kindly take us through your journey in home economics and then if someone wants to join GEAR, what should they do, Central Region? Oh, by journey to, to home economics. Okay, I started, actually, I didn't do home econs or food and nutrition, any of the subjects in secondary school. I did art, pure art. But after secondary school, I went to Holy Child College, now known as Holy Child College of Education. During our time, it was a training college. There, every post student, you have to do home economics. At first, we had some, I had some challenges. I went there, met students who did food and nutrition, clothing and textiles, and they were on top. So the, uh, two of us who didn't have any idea, we have to toil, burn the midnight oil candle to come out. Later, the two of us, we were even on top. They started even asking us questions and we started lecturing them on. So after Holy Child, I was posted as a home economics teacher to Takwa Methodist JSS. After teaching for a while, that time there was this reform, the new educational reform that brought about uh, JHS, JSS. And yeah, JSS. So I was posted to Takwa Methodist uh, um, JHS school to teach vocational skills and life skills. After teaching for a while, I went back to UCC to study home science, home economics. There we learned both clothing and textiles and food and nutrition. Mm -hmm. So that's how I became. Thank you very much. So Ma, what's your specialization? So you did clothing and textiles, you did food and nutrition. Oh, during that time at Holy Child, nobody specializes. No, you do all. As a home economics teacher, you should be overall. So I read, I did food and nutrition as well as clothing and textile. When I went to UCC, same. The, it is only at the final year that you choose a particular. So at UCC final year, I did food and nutrition. Thank you, Ma. So Ma, now we'll talk about gear. You are wearing exclusive fabric, Ghana Home Economics Association, and you are the chairperson for Central Region. Please tell us what is GIA all about and is it open to everyone? GIA is all about food and nutrition. It's open to everybody involved in the food chain. The caterers, even at the wayside, we have to rope them in. But normally, the um, majority of us are home economics teachers. But that is not the end. We are to bring in everybody who does something about food. If you want to join GIA, you first have to go to the, your districts. We have district um, heads there. Then they will give you a dues card. You start paying your dues. Then during our meetings, we induct you and you become a member of Ghana Home Economics Association. Thank you, viewers. So we've been talking to Madam Chairperson for the Central Region and also the Headmistress for Bremen Esikuma Senior High School. She came to grace the occasion for the exhibition and evaluation of new recipes by the level 300 students of the Faculty of Home Economics Education at the University of Education. Madam, thank you so much. And Home Economics Show was privileged to have you talk to us. Please, any final words for our viewers? My final word is that 
parents shouldn't deter their students, their children, from studying home economics. Home economics, as a fold of study, it's about everything in life. Everything from what you wear to what you eat and how you live. It's a, and it, the course, people think it's so expensive. It's never expensive. You can use plastic cookies for plastic plates, spoons, and those things too. You, then, you don't need to buy expensive things. And another thing is that most of the schools, they have their large equipment. They have stoves, blenders, so it's some simple things that you need to um, study home economics. And when you study it, in the end, you come out as a whole person because home economics educates the head, the hands, and the heart. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So viewers, as you said, home economics educates the head, the hands, and the heart. And it's not expensive. So we encourage you all. If your ward, if your sibling, if your brother, if anybody of your friends wants to study home economics, we encourage you to allow them to study their course. It's once again the Home Economics Show coming to you live from the Faculty of Home Economics Education. Let's move on to the other regions.